Hey all, here are OS Reviews. Today we're taking a closer look at the Wizards C3. These are TWS True Wireless Buds, which sell for under 50 bucks, and feature Qualcomm's APTX, which should give us pretty low latency and good audio quality. This is a company that's made some pretty interesting designs for their buds in the past, including a pair called the TP1s, which have a very elegant look that's unlike almost any other that's on the market for a budget pair. But in contrast, the C3s are boring design by contrast. Uh, the other one, which seemed very specialized and expensive, sophisticated, this one here seems a lot more generic. Still, we do have, again, pretty good components inside for the budget price tag. The battery life is rated to last around five hours on a single charge, and the battery case can provide up to four additional charges when on the road, so that's all pretty decent. And they also feature larger than average 10 millimeter driver. And inside the packaging, we have just the Coop Buds C3s, in addition to some spare silicon tips to get a more custom fit, and unfortunately, a micro USB cable. So yes, these are not using USB Type-C, which is a little bit disappointing uh, to see here in 2020, but it is what it is. We we also have a warranty card and a quick user manual inside of this little container box. So taking a closer look at the design of the battery case here, again it is definitely a case of function over form. It's not anything too exciting that we haven't seen before but feels decent. It's made out of a polycarbonate plastic and as a quick size contrast, here it is next to Xiaomi's Redmi Air Dot, so you can see it's a little bit larger, but not by too much. Still is easy enough to put into a pocket. Here it is next to the Apple AirPods, which you can see are also of a similar size overall. So these are still very good in terms of their compactness. The rear here, though, does have that micro USB port for charging, and there's nothing on the bottom. It doesn't have Qi wireless charging, though, so you do have to rely on the cable in order to charge it up. The door here is magnetic, so it can open and close with a satisfying click, and after it is opened up, it doesn't fall closed too easily. There's a bit of a hinge spring design to it, so the overall construction of the battery case is pretty good in terms of the attention to the small detail. Now once the battery door is opened up, they will immediately start to pair with each other and your phone, so the connection process is a little bit faster, and the buds themselves are also magnetically held into the casing, and they fit in pretty well. Buds themselves, again, do have a very typical look. Uh, there's just the kind of company's logo on the surface here, and some smaller fine print for the FCC kind of certifications. Um, we do have access to a touch-sensitive area or a touchpad that you can use to play and pause the music, to skip tracks, and to answer or reject phone calls and bring up a voice assistant. Unfortunately though, there isn't the ability for you to raise or lower the volume directly on them. So for that, you have to use the voice assistant or turn to your phone. The good news here though is they are very ergonomic and they fit in very snugly, at least into my years when testing it out earlier. They didn't feel loose at all, even when I was jogging and moving around. Now moving into audio quality and performance, it's one area where luckily these don't disappoint, just like the other pairs that we've checked out from Weezer in the past. Overall sound quality is very clean. You won't hear too many hints of static or distortion, and it's a very rich dynamic sound, so there's plenty of bass here. In fact, it's one of the most bass-heavy experiences you'll get out of small TWS style buds. If you're a bass head, you'll definitely love these. Whenever a drum beat hits, it kind of rattles and it's super satisfying. It kind of shakes, you can definitely feel it, but at the same time, it's not out of balance or out of control. It doesn't destroy the other elements of the sound. Trebles, for example, are still crystal clear and filled with detail. So when you're listening to vocals or in instrumentals, females' voices, it still becomes very resonant and it's super enjoyable without sounding piercing. So great high and great lows. In contrast, I would say mids sometimes get a little bit covered up uh, because of the super impressive bass as well as very bright and clear trebles, but overall it's still a very balanced and impressive sound. The larger drivers coupled with the really tight seal of this in-ear tip, and that really helps provide that extra bass effect. Connectivity is also very strong thanks to Bluetooth 5.0 and aptX. Very low latency, I could play and pause the track. The video and audio were still synced together perfectly well. When playing back games, it's not going to be completely perfect at every single instance. Of course, compared to wired headphones, uh, TWS wireless ones will always come with that trade-off of having um, a slightly longer latency, but overall it's still serviceable and you can get around the ballpark of 60 milliseconds 
seconds of latency, if not a little bit lower than that. So that's more or less it as far as our hands-on review of the Weezer C3, also called the Coop Buds C3. And overall, for a very kind of utilitarian design, it's definitely compensated by the fact that they offer very excellent base. You can check out more details if you're interested in the links down below for now that's been our video. Thanks for watching here at OS Reviews. That's been the Weezer C3.